Hello, today I'm going to show you how to export the hairs from Unreal Engine to, for example, Blender and similar uh, softwares. I think the Unreal really don't want you to, to get these textures, I don't know why. And because, for example, for the um, eyelashes, you, you can get it, but for, for hairs and eyebrows, it's not an easy way, but I found the way around. So first thing that we need to do is export uh, this hair uh, as hair cards. You can find it in your MetaHuman folder. So go to the MetaHuman, your MetaHuman name. And here in the female hair, uh, you go to the hair and select this hair cards. You, as you can see, file, asset action, uh, and export. Uh, yeah, I will save it here. And same for the texture for this. Uh, so we go to the, now not in the MetaHuman folder, but in the general common uh, female hair, textures, and Conroe's cards, and download this attribute. Uh, texture, shit, uh, asset action, export. Maybe some similar softwares can handle this also, but uh, I'm working with other shops. So, uh, yeah, what we need to do is go to the select and color range. And I find this way uh, it works. Maybe you have some. Um, uh, better option, let me know in the comments if you know something. Uh, I go in with the color range, select this, delete, and doing it for a few times for all the color ranges that are here, but not the hairs. Color range, blue, delete, select, color range, green, delete, select, color range. And you see a few times and we almost have it clear. Uh, maybe last one. I'm not sure if it's something here. Okay, I think that's enough. Now go with the color overlay and for, yeah, white. Uh, get new layer um, and fill it black. So we created um, alpha texture for our hairs. So export as PNG. All right, now go into Blender. As you can see, I already imported uh, the hair cards. So you know, file uh, import FBX, and if you uh, import this, this will pop up. So you got your hair hairs with some different weird texture. Uh, delete that and import our, our uh, alpha texture so go in your folder and and get this all right it's good uh, as you can see it looks weird uh, but uh, take the color around for better better control just a little bit uh, to get rid of the additional um, shades. And I think the best way to do that is to use two BSDF. One is hair BSDF for, for hairs, and one is a classic principle BSDF. Uh, we mix them together. How oh, it was like this. Oh, that's weird. Never mind. Uh, yeah, so we mix this and use this as a mask and connect this and here alpha to zero how it looks why it doesn't work maybe we should switch all right uh, as you can see it works uh almost maybe change this color something more cool uh but as you can see there is a lot of some black spots and the hair doesn't look clean that's because we have not enough light paths in our scene so like uh, actually transparent uh, light pass. So we need to increase that to maybe like 30. 
and you got your hairs. And the same is with the eyebrows. So you're getting similar texture uh, to this. Also color range delete. So you left only with the hairs and use it as the alpha mask. And you get this. It's not perfect, but for me it works and it's enough. So thank you guys for watching and hope it helps and you can use hairs from MetaHuman to Blender, for example. Cheers.